Okay, so tell me, do you love these mini rope balloons as much as I do? I feel like they can take the most basic garland and elevate it times 10. The crazy thing is, as pretty as they are, they're actually very easy to make. So today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make these mini rope chain garlands quickly, easily, and have you ready to use them for your next install. First thing you wanna do is take two five inch balloons, blow them up and then size them back down so that both balloons match perfectly. I'm using my basic pump to blow up these balloons, but if you wanna use double stuff, check out my video in which I show you how to blow up double stuff balloons without using a hand pump. After you're done inflating, you want to deflate them until each balloon is the exact same size. So I'm using this sizer so that they're both exactly four inches. And then I tie the necks around each other so that I create a dupe. You wanna tie it like about two times. You wanna make sure they're tied tight because if any air leaks out, they'll become uneven and your rope won't have that symmetrical look. You're gonna blow up as many as you need for the job that you're doing. This right here, I believe is about 60. 60 each, so that would be 30 dupes altogether. The color I'm using is Simpertex Rose Gold, Reflex Rose Gold. Once you have your dupes tied up, get them all together because now you're going to start building your rope. I almost forgot to mention, to put these together, you'll need a 260. I was actually able to use just one 260 by stretching it out really, really far, and I found that it was enough to make a pretty long chain. I'd recommend you use a 260 similar or the same color as the balloons. That way, when they bend and curve, you won't kind of see an off color in the middle. Okay, now that you have your 260 stretched out, you're gonna go ahead and tie that around your first dupe. Just tie it around and make a little knot so that the 260 hangs off like a tail. And once your 260's tied on, you're going to take your second dupe, kind of turn it perpendicular, put it on top of your base dupe, take your 260 and just wrap it up and under the base balloon okay so just around one time that's all just once take your next dupe place it opposite of the one directly below it and take your 260 and wrap it around again you're going to go up down and around just like that let me show you one more time up down and around as i continue to build my chain you'll notice that i turn my rope each time I add another layer of dupes. Of course, you don't have to do it that way. I just do it because it's easier for me. And from here, you're going to just keep adding your dupes. Take that 260, go up, down, and around until you get to the length that you want yours to be. And what I like to do is stop every so often, just check it out and make sure it looks how I want it to. So what I'm doing here is really just stretching out that 260 again because it helps me to create more space because I wanna make it longer. And it also helps make the individual dupes stay really tight and close together because that's the look I'm going for with this particular chain. Just a tip, if you see any gaps between your dupes while you're doing this, just go ahead and like use your hand to push them down nice and tight into each other while holding the 260 with your other hand. That way it'll fill in those gaps and make sure that your rope is nice and tight and clean. As I go through my build with these, I like to make sure that the individual balloons are lined up with each other. So what I'll do is just kind of look at it and make sure that they're all in sync, that they're all in line, just moving them left or right. Because you know, it's very easy for the balloons to become misaligned or to get out of place in the process of building these. So yeah, this one extra step is just, I find it to be helpful. And once you get your chain to the length that you desire, you can just leave the tail of that 260 out. And that's exactly what you'll use to tie this rope to your actual garland. You'll use that 260 and wrap it around the garland and then reattach it to the bottom of the, the other side of the chain. 
So this is the final look. This is how it came out for this look. Of course, I used the rose gold, but I also added a bit of black and I'm loving the final look, okay? The rose gold, they look like layers of pearls almost. So shiny and cute. And the black, they look like little balls of caviar. I don't know, shout out to whoever created the idea of the mini rope chain. They are wonderful. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and let me know below. Have you used these chain garlands in your setup before? And if so, how did you feel about it? In the meantime, on your way out, don't forget to hit that subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one.